Hello. In August of uh, 2012, I made another trip down to Oxford, Pennsylvania in order to get another uh, Crosstown pinball machine. I did have one prior to this one, uh, one of the first games I ever got, but I sold it and reluctantly did so. And so I decided I would get another one. So basically, I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of the outside of the game now I did repaint the cabinet the cabinet had already been repainted once um, it was okay um, but some of the lines weren't as fine as I would have liked them a little bit uh, sloppy nothing against the person that did it just didn't really think it was uh, the greatest job so anyway just kind of looking at the outside of the game uh, there's brand brand new legs on it Put a brand new coin door and uh, coin entrance plate on the game. And here you can actually see the uh, painted uh, cabinet. Uh, also the previous cabinet, the blue on it was the lighter shade of blue. Wasn't the uh, true color of the uh, blue on it. And just kind of going around the game here. I've taken the playfield glass out at the moment. And here you can get a kind of a view of the repaint of the game. And that's going up to the head. And then the glass is actually a reproduction back glass on it. But like I say, everything had been repainted on it. Uh, looking down at the play field. Uh, it's got a new apron decal on it from uh, Pinball Resource in Australia. So they were all stripped and repainted. Everything on the play field is original except for I did uh, replace the bumper caps because they were all burnt. And the uh, white rollover guides actually there was one I didn't realize was chipped and trying to find another one exactly the same color to match so I did replace the five of those but other than that everything on here well not counting the flipper bats but basically that's everything's original and I did make a new sticker uh, for the uh, manufacturer's certificate for it and just a quick look around the back you can see uh, the back door now this back door this door is that I put on here is pretty well pristine the, the one that I got with the game wasn't too bad but uh, because I like this game so much I, I swapped this uh, back door this is the original back door off of a 1966 Central Park that I have and I mean this door <laughs> door is pretty well mint I don't think I've ever seen one with a color on here usually this color is all gone but this one actually is really really nice so and just looking down the back of the cabinet now one thing I do do because I'm on carpet is I put these small pinball wheels on the back of the of the game I don't know if anybody else does them I just find rolling them on carpet just a little bit easier they're about the same as using a, a three inch uh, leg leveler it's about the same height so I just find pulling games back and forth on the carpet a little bit easier. And like I say, I only use them on the back. I don't use them on the front. So anyway, so that's just kind of an overview of the uh, outside of the game. And uh, like I say, I'll take some other, other shots of uh, the work that I did to shot this game out. So now I thought I'd do uh, an overview basically of the uh, interior and uh, underside of the playfield. So I basically started this game uh, back at the end of August, beginning of September, started with the repaint and then over the next uh, few months uh, actually redid uh, the whole interior and playfield and everything else inside. So basically this is kind of where I'm at on this game so everything that you see in here everything was taken apart everything was polished tumbled whatever whatever I could do with it I did it so there's just uh, 
looking into the side of the game here. Uh, basically, all the relays uh, were completely disassembled. Uh, everything was tumbled, cleaned, uh, regapped. Uh, whatever new stickers were made for all the ones. Some were missing. Some were in pretty rough shape. So this one's a little hard to see. But anyway, I redid them all. Uh, the board on the bottom of this game was actually, <coughs> excuse me, was varnished. So, again, I always usually take them apart, strip them, sand them down, whatever, put them back to the original score motor. Again, the, the score motor was completely dis disassembled. Every bit and piece was tumbled, polished, cleaned, whatever. So there you are looking at the score motor, 100-point bell. Now, the only thing I didn't do because... Uh, I just didn't want to do it was as far as the bank I mean I cleaned the sides of the bank uh, cleaned the bar as best I could and where the uh, coil is and everything else but the actual main body of the bank I didn't disassemble everything because there was no way I was getting into that and having something in there not work so and again kind of just looking into the game here looking at all the bits and pieces again these other sets of relays down here I mean they were all disassembled and cleaned um disassembling it putting it back together a bit of a pain but in the end i mean it looks a lot nicer now that it is all being recleaned so then going from the bottom of the two banks in here again everything was pulled apart everything and i mean everything was cleaned and polished and uh, you basically can see you know what i did in here and then kind of going up to the pop bumpers again they were done the uh, red and yellow targets on here they were both completely disassembled I put all new fingers and springs on the uh, on the wheels here so they were all done and then going around and <clears throat> looking at the other side you can see the interior of what it looks like and then here's the exterior of the other particular unit and the centerpiece in there that holds the lights for you know when they advance whatever you can see it was all taken out and clean now I did put yellow dot coils on it sometimes I'm not a big fan of that but uh, I just happened to have a couple of spare ones and just decided I'd change them out just to see what they were like now there's the ball trough and again you can see the ball trough there and what it looks like and uh, Everything on the ball trough actually was disassembled, cleaned, and whatnot. So again, looking at everything, everything that everything that you see in this picture, everything that could be cleaned and everything else, basically was. And then looking back towards the coin door, again, I didn't clean everything there perfectly, but cleaned it as best I could. Now, as far as parts, I did say earlier on. But some of the things I'd replaced, one thing I, I didn't mention was uh, it had the wrong lockdown bar on it. So I actually replaced the lockdown bar, got a new one from Pinball Resource. So I got the new bar and end caps on it. And uh, yeah, so that's, basic, that's basically about it for the inside of the cabinet. Now uh, I'll try and work my way around here to take the back off the door it might get a bit jittery here I was going to take it off before but I forgot anyway so this is looking into the the back of the head here and again I basically did the same thing that I did to the underside of the cabinet so every single piece that I could I cleaned and polished and I mean, all the real again. All these relays were all taken apart, cleaned, put back together. I put new stickers on them all because some of them were missing, some of them were faded. And there's the uh, back side of the coil for the the doors. And you can see that I don't know how well you can see it, but there's the frame for score reels, and you can actually see the reflection in the metal for the score reels and going across is the uh, replay unit and again everything completely taken apart and cleaned and put back together zero to nine unit 
Uh, same thing, everything taken apart, cleaned, all new fingers and springs put on uh, on the game, and the bells shined up and everything else. Now that I did change a couple of light sockets because I did have a few dodgy light sockets, but other than that, I just basically cleaned everything in there. And uh, yeah, you can basically see see all the innards. I mean, I'm sure this thing's jumping around this video a little bit, but uh, just to give you an overview, you know, this is what I did when I was uh, working on the game. Okay, just going to start the game just to show how it's working. Anyway, one crappy game, that's it.